welcome to Ikina with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today's video is something that I have been meaning to put together for you guys for a while. A lot of people have asked me how and where do I store and how do I display my pins? So I actually got two of display boxes from Amazon. I typically use shadow boxes from a store called Display Gifts. So I am going to link them down below. So in case you want to check out the boxes, you know where and how to find them. Each box typically retails for around $50 a piece and today I will be showing you these boxes and I have tons of pins that need to go into a box that had run out of space a while ago so you will see me putting pins into the box and just really opening these boxes which I really 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 love they're really sturdy and they do keep my pins dust free and in just really good shape and because they have a glass door in the front I can easily just admire my pins whenever I want and because they are so nicely made they go really nicely with my bedroom furniture which is where I have all my pin boxes so let me stop talking and let's check out these pin boxes all right so like I said earlier I ordered two display cases just because I ran out of space a while ago when it comes to pins I want to say I ran out of space back in like March so we we're talking about six months ago so I have tons of pins that need to be put somewhere and like I said earlier these boxes are from a store called display gifts I'm gonna see if I can show you real quick okay as you can see on the box it says display gifts and I pre-cut the boxes just to make it a little easier here here we have box number one and here we have box number two. All right, so let's do this one box at a time. So as you can see, it comes with some anchors for you to put it on the wall and keys because these are lockable display boxes. have our very first box as you can see it has been nicely packaged so let's open up this box And we're going to just remove this so that we can lay it flat on the table. And as you can see, we have different ways as to how you can hang this. So you can hang them horizontally or vertically. All right, so here we have the first box. We're gonna remove some of the things that are inside. We don't need any of this. And as you can see, the inside has like a felt covering, but behind it, it's foam, which is pretty deep. All right, so here we have some other angles. All 
All right, so we have our box ready and I can't wait to put some pins in there. So now that we saw some of the pins that need to go in a box, let's start putting some pins in there. And the last three pins, including this Star Wars pin, are from the Disney Play app. This is one of the Happy New Year pins from 2020. And this is one of the May the 4th Be With You 2020 pins. And so is this one. And I did attend the Disney Pin Trading 9 back in February and both of these pins are from that event. And these pins were pins that I also picked up during the pin trading night. And these pins are to celebrate Cinderella's 70th anniversary. So as I am putting pins in the box, which as you can see has been pretty easy so far, I realized that I have all of these pins from the Cinderella 70th mystery pin set. And I figured I am gonna need to move some pins around. Okay, so I decided to stand up the case just so that I can move some pins around. As you can see, I already moved the format that we have. So I have all the Cinderella pins on the left-hand side and I have some of the New Year pins on top, but I will make sure to show you a final result once I'm done putting all the pins in here. And here we have one of the latest Visa pins. This one celebrates Cinderella's 70th also. So you can see putting pins in here is really, really easy. And here we have another Visa pin. This one celebrates 65 years of Lady on the Trap. And here we have another Cinderella pin. And here we have pins from Laning in the Traps 65th anniversary.
I, when I went to Disney back in February, I also picked up this pin from the Festival of the Arts. And here we have two of the park cruisers. We have the People Mover and we have the Haunted Mansion. And here we also have two pins from the 65th anniversary of Disneyland celebrating 65 years of magic. And we also have this jumbo pin from the 65th anniversary of Disneyland. Let's see how we can put it in here too. Okay, so I ended up moving the pins around one more time. I feel like this is something that I do often. Just move pins around. And as you can see, this pin box holds a lot and it is strong enough to hold jumbo pins as well. With the magic of YouTube, we have two boxes ready. In this second box right here, I decided to start adding some more of my Jessica Rabbit pins because I already have one box full with Jessica Rabbit pins, so the rest I will be putting here and eventually another box because I'm sure I'll be getting some more boxes in the future. And here we have some of my Hocus Pocus pins. So in this second box, we have 54 pins. And as you can see, we have room for more. And in this box right here, we have 45 pins. Remember, we also have two jumbo pins in there. And there you have it guys, two brand new pin display cases, pretty much already full. We do have some room left in this one. And that's it you guys, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the pin display boxes. As of right now, the retail price on the boxes is $49.95. And as far as the color goes, I get the walnut color 
and the measurements are as follows it is 19 inches high by 14 inches wide by 2.25 inches d on the outside and on the inside it is 18 inches high by 13 inches wide and the space between the foam and the glass is a half an inch and the interior depth with the foam removed is 1.1 inches again let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the boxes let me know how you are currently displaying your pins and as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me bye